the, from the 70s up to here, um, most of the revolutionary struggles that, I mean, the, the, the revolutionary force of the 70s was enormous. And nevertheless, all that uh, force was channeled and kind of uh, shaped and transformed into identity politics, through the logic of identity politics. And then I think that many of these, um, of, uh, of these struggles have uh, taken us to, uh, I mean, for some of us, positions that I cannot even imagine. Like, how could we think about like all this revolutionary force of the, not just 60s, but if we think about the anti-colonial movements of from the Haiti revolution to the uh, decolonial movements and the sexual politics and so on. How can we think about all that revolutionary struggle being transformed into uh, a struggle for marriage and adoption? I mean, what happened there? And I think that what happened there was identity politics, was basically like, um, and for me that's, it's, it's, this is something that you will find in, in the book in the sense that um, I think that there are two ways of looking at things. One would be, okay, we, we, still, uh, we still could organize ourselves and our organize our struggles through the prism and the logic of identity politics. And then we go into all kinds of problems. Like for instance, are trans women or not? And then we can go for years on that discussion and it will be extremely violent and uh, and you know, and we could continue with 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 those, and they uh, they change and they reshape, and we could add like more and more identities. That could be one one way of a, of thinking about this this political struggle. And for me, that way of thinking about it will be, I would say, uh, neoliberal democracy, and very much within the hegemonic framework of American politics. And the other way is a much more revolutionary way, and it, it would be what I, I call a uh, somatopolitical revolution. It would be uh, instead of fighting for identity, uh, starting to build and to think and to invent practices of critical disidentification.